Hey booktube, how's it going? Today, I am here to announce March Mystery Madness 2021. <clears throat> um, I've been doing this for a few years now. Um, some years better than others, but this one... Um, I'm really into and a lot of it has to do with how the hosts are communicating with one another so I guess it's new this year it's new to me this year but I think it's new this year there's a discord server for March Mystery Madness where um, everyone can chat it up and everything like that um, there's the Goodreads group. There's going to be Instagram um, challenges, like daily Instagram challenges, which I'm really excited about. Um, and the prompts this year are super cool. Like, um, it, it's title rific. <clears throat> so the idea is, is things that... Uh, that you could find in the title of your book. So, like, um, the prompts this year are single, number, person, place, weather, color, time, space, and then there's a bonus. Now, um, the single, um, and again, you could do these anyway. There's no, um, March Mystery Madness Gestapo that's gonna, <laughs> like, um, come get you if you, like, are feeling a bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? If you are, uh, stretching the prompts then, let's say, um, but so single could be the word single, it could be a single word title, it could be, um, anything of that nature. I think I um, did all the stuff that could be. Um, number is self-explanatory. Person is self-explanatory. Um, a person in the title. Um, either like a proper name or um, a title or um, maybe even a pronoun. Um, place. Um, that's pretty simple. A lot of, um, titles of books are like, um, the harlot of Disneyland or something like that, you know? So that shouldn't be difficult. Weather. This one is actually, um, I'm not going to tell you what my, um, TBR for this is until later in the month, but, um, weather I'm having a bit of a hard time with, and it's just because... I'm trying to <clears throat> make sure that the mystery in my book that I'm picking is an actual mystery and not just a dude, like, robbing a bank and then, like, running for his life kind of thing. Um, I know I just talked about the Gestapo, but this is, like, a me thing. And then color, um, a color in the title, that's not hard. Time, um, at first I was looking for books that actually had a time, and I found a few, but when I was reading what the books were about, I wasn't sold on the mystery aspect of it. I was like, oh, this is kind of a stretch. <clears throat> um, but it could be something like, dawn or sunset or dusk or noon or um dinner time i don't know tea time at the tiddlywink strip club in baton rouge you know like whatever you want to do there um my phone keeps um i don't know if you guys have this problem but <clears throat> i'll get in my phone and then I'll start running my flapper here. And then um, by the time I look back down at my phone, it's locked. And I have to like do the passcode to get back in it. And because I have thumbs the size of Volkswagens, when I do it, um, 
I usually mess it up, and it's like, oh, uh, like, nope, try again. So, oh, I just did it again. <laughs> okay, um, gosh, I ramble, man. Um, space. Um, this one I thought I was going to have a really hard time with, and then I found, like, three books, like, right off the bat that I had on my, um, want to read list <laughs> that I was just like, oh, yes, this is good. So this could be anything, like, from space, like, outer space to, um, the space between you and I, or, um, I would go so far as to say, like, it got locked out of my phone again. Um, I gotta do that thing where, like, your phone's just never locked. Um, but anyway, like, like, I would go so far to say that space could be something like, um, like, a woman in a freezer. Like, the space that she's in is inside the freezer. Does that make sense? Um, so, I'm very lenient on that. And then, um, finally, the bonus is supposed to be a book that you picked up just because of the title. Um, it could be anything. Now, the funny thing about this is 98% of the books I pick up are basically just because of the title. Um, it's like that whole scene from, like, Shakespeare in Love. Wow, I'm dating myself here. But it's like, oof, good title. Like, um, whenever, like, I'm at a thrift store or a bookstore or whatever, and I'm just, like, looking through books, and I see a book, the title jumps out at me. I, I do that stupid voice, and I'm like, oof, good title. Um, but that's just me being silly. So anyway, um... Now, for those of you who are like, I don't know if, like, I'm necessarily, like, a mystery reader, per se, you know, because there are tons of different subgenres of mystery, and one of the cool things about um, March Mystery Madness, see, that's the Discord right there going off, people are already chatting, chatting it up. Um, if you've been watching my videos lately, when you hear the Discord burp, burp, go off, that's us talking. So, the Discord is quite the Mamma Jamma party, so um, make sure you get in on that. But anyway, so, um, the different, um, like, subgenres and subgenres of subgenres and all this other stuff. Like, there are so many hosts this year on this that all read different stuff. There's people who read, um, like... It's funny, like, I'm the one who reads Smut, um, which is kind of funny, but um, kind of on the nose, so. Um, but, like, there's hard-boiled mysteries, there's um, cozy mysteries, there's Christian mysteries, there's, um, there's a lot of mysteries in comic books, you know, like... I'm a huge um, pre-New 52 Batman fan. Um, I actually do kind of like New 52, and there were parts of Rebirth that I like too. Um, but I've been... Like, I haven't... In the last year, I have not been following comics. <laughs> I don't want to get involved in that um, madness uh, anymore. So I'm trying to, like stand back and not pay attention, um, and hope that, um, time will heal all wounds, and, um, that that will just fall back into place, and I could come back in later. Anyway, but, um, there's all sorts of mysteries, and to me, when I'm trying to decide if something is a mystery or, um, a crime novel, or a thriller, or suspense, or whatever, I just say, like, is the main character trying to find something out? Like, it doesn't have to be a murder, it doesn't have to be a robbery, but is the main character, like, kind of on a quest to find the answer to a question? And that's kind of my, um, 
like litmus test if a book is a mystery or not. So that is a very broad stroke there. Um, it could be anything. Like there were a lot of books that I was, um, that I had on just my list to read anyway, um, that were very like femme fatale noir. And those books don't really have a question. It's kind of like, this guy falls for this chick, this chick asks him to kill somebody or rob a bank or blah, 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 blah. And he just kind of goes through the motions. And you, the reader, might be going, dude, she's playing ya. But the guy in the book never thinks that. He's just, just happy to be there. <clears throat> and um, so books like that, I didn't um, put on my TBR for this. Um, and then, and then there's also like, uh, the heist because like the heist novel, you could sit there and go, well, there is a question he's trying to figure out. Like he's trying to figure out if he could get away with this. <clears throat> and yeah, I guess that works. Like, if that's the mystery you're trying to solve, if he can put this together and get away with it. Um, but to me, the reason why that doesn't work is because um, he knows all the answers to all the questions. It's just if he's going to be able to pull it off. So to me, that's like really pushing it so anything else like um i do have i won't tell you which one it is yet but i do have um a uh old sci-fi book that i'm gonna be using as one of my books in here um because there is he the main character um like accidentally hears something and then has to figure out what it is, if it's real, what he needs to do about it, and to try to solve it before it's too late. So to me, that's a mystery. Like he is trying to put the pieces together to try to solve this puzzle kind of thing. Um, so just look at it very broad brush if you have a hard time putting these um, together and um, you'll be able to figure it out pretty easily just like read the description of a book and if in the description it ever comes across that the main character is trying to find something out that's a mystery so um, that should be cool now down below um, I know a lot of you don't ever go down below but um, go down below this time, and you will find links to the Discord, the Goodreads. Um, oh, and there's going to be a bunch of live streams. There's um, a bunch of different hosts hosting live streams. I think I'm going to be hosting um, at least one or two live streams through March. Um, but it has everyone's um, YouTube page. Um, so you should be able to um, find it. And even if the people... Like, what I've come to notice is that even if the people aren't reading stuff that I necessarily like to read, everyone who's doing this is such a genuine, awesome person that, like, I could just watch their videos. And um, just it's just like hanging out with a friend, you know what I'm saying? So, like... Um, go to all these people's pages, um, watch a couple of their videos and see, um, if you like hanging out with them, you know, whether or not you like their books or not. Cause, um, it's no fun if someone's talking about books you like, but they're a total piece of crap and you can't stand them. So, um, the plus side here is, is that all these people are super cool, um, and join us on discord and Goodreads and all that stuff. Um, Hopefully I'll be a little more involved in Goodreads this time, but I'm having a good time at Discord. So um, let me know down below if you're going to be joining in. And um, go ahead and make an announcement video if um, you're going to 
be jamming in on this. Um, and then you could just copy and paste everything down below, put that in your description, and we're off to the races. So um, let me know if you're going to do this and if you're excited about it and if you've done it before. Um, and like, what year was your favorite March Mystery Madness year? Um, cause there's always like some sort of theme, like did, was there one year that you were like, oh my gosh, this year was really fun, but this year was really difficult for me to find books for the theme. That'd be interesting to figure out. I'd like to hear about that. So anyway, everybody, I will talk to you later. Yeah.